These red herrings are popping up left and right. They're all secret plots, okay? Like the thing with the the MAGA, with the American Indian, and you had the brother, I think his name is uh, Ephraim. Chief Ephraim, right. And by their secret plots. By their secret plots. And popular persuasions. That's their media. Their media is a popular persuasion. Why? Because most people believe what they see on TV, what they see on the news. I believe it. Don't. Read it again. And by their secret plots and popular persuasions and commotions. They try to stir up a commotion to get people against us. Go ahead. They hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived. So they were hindered from building for the space of two years until the reign of Darius. Yes, but they're not going to hit the gas. This is going to keep going all the time. Everybody understand that? It's a price to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 56 The tender and delicate woman It said the what type of woman D? The tender, the tender and delicate woman Now can a woman be tender and delicate If she got on some combat boots and some pants on Is that tender and delicate? Talk to me D Is that tender and delicate? That's the eight That's what I'm going to get to Who was woke Because that's all you was told This man told you Woman's rights You're equal to a man That's what that's what this image, Seizure Bourget, taught our people. They told our men, be quiet. Don't talk too loud. You're talking too rough. That's why most men have a soft talk. Oh, they whisper, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to speak up. Add some bass to your voice. Then they told our women, you're independent. You're free. That's why most of our women loud. They wearing pants. They got combat boots. They got tennis shoes. They got some Tim's on their feet. They make it mad. Exactly. So emasculate the men because they're the, they're the real threat. They're bigger. They're stronger. They're men. Protectors. They meant to be warriors. Emasculate the women. On one on one, is a woman is a woman gonna be the man? On a one on one, is a woman gonna be the man? You built different. We built different. That's how the Lord created. And we, what type of woman we talking about, D? Said she wouldn't even put her foot, the sole of her foot on the ground because she was so delicate and tender. That's what means being above, is because guess what? Somebody will carry her. You're gonna have some servants. Yeah, pick that carriage up. Yep. And I'll carry my wife over there. Wherever she says she's going, I'll carry her. Oh, she's going over there? Alright, put her in that carriage. It said her the soul, she don't adventure to have her soul. Nowadays our woman be. Yeah, that's just the cowboys, and that's not the same. 
destroy that section, they eat that, the plots, the ploys, read this. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. So, y'all sleep together? That's whoremonger and adulterer. What, did, what was the penalty for that? What did it say? Read that again, Paul. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. God will judge you. You may say, how will God judge me for having premarital sex? Easy. It could be diseases. It could be becoming a baby mama or staying a baby mama or increase in baby mama hood. Because you can have one baby with not being married and you're a baby mama. But that's a big difference from having five kids. Is that and you a baby mama, right? So that could happen as well. It can increase. Exactly. You got two different baby daddies, three different baby daddies. That's not what you want. You want to do the first part. Read that again. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. All right, listen up, Lance. Listen up. This was mainly for you, right? Because there's a saying, women control sex, but men control marriage, right? So you can spit game to a, a woman. Give me Exodus 22, 16. You can spit game, and she, oh, okay, she with it. She feeling you. Blah, blah, blah. You can take it out, you can do whatever, and now you got the draws. You can't do that thing. Then you going if you want to be. But if you still, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling shorty. I'm going to talk to her. You know, she seemed like she all right. Then you build a relationship, but every other week you hit me. Every other day you hit me. And without what? Marriage. But this is what the Bible says if y'all are having sex. You said you were. Let me, let me catch you on that. You said. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me get this one point. Read this. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. Uh -huh. And if a man entice a maid. Lance, it's been game to be. I don't know how long y'all known each other. Spend some game enticing. You ain't saying no, yeah, saying some smooth words. Read. That is not betrothed. So she's not promised to, she's not married. Read. And lie with her. Do what? And lie with her. Have sex with her. Read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. He said he might endow her to be his wife. Surely endow her to be his wife. Maybe he gonna endow her to be his wife. Surely endow her to be his wife. God says, thus saith the Bible, D. Lance is supposed to surely make you his wife. That's what you gotta do, Lance. And we wanna get rid of baby mama, baby daddies. We wanna get rid of this broken community, single parent households. If, the only reason why it should be a single parent household is if the father died or the mother died. You a widow or what is it, widowed or widower? That's the only reason why it should be a single parent household. Or he's in jail. Or is he, yeah, you might get locked up for the gospel. You might. But guess what? You still be married. So you won't be considered a widow. Remember, a widow or a widow word is the spouse of somebody that died. So if you got married and your husband died, you're a widow. If you get married and your wife died, you're a widower. So that's marriage, right? Marriage is honorable in all things. So, D, Lance, what you got to do to build up the community to show a righteous image to your children is to what? your daughter and that's your son, right? Mine, well, guess what? Guess what Lance want to do? Guess what you want to do? Set that example. Because when your daughter see you, they want to be just like you. I don't know if the father in the life or the young man, if he ain't, that's what my man Lance here for, right? So whatever Lance going to be, that young boy going to grow up to be in his image. Yeah, now, if Lance... Like Sure, boom, boom, boom. Whatever he see, yeah. exactly. That's what he going That's what my hero is. That's why I'm so that's bad traits too. single mother they watch her either get ran through a lot by different dudes or they watch her get abused 
that make right. them be different when they get over them. No. It should. It should because they say, okay, I don't want that. But well, guess what? But guess what? That's all they was taught. Yeah. yeah. They think that's okay. Right. It was because their mom ain't never believed. Oh boy, she ain't never. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when mom step out of line, hey, I'm gonna check you like my mom got checked. She can move down. Yeah. Cause that's all he know. Read this though. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, six, verse seven. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shall talk of them when thy sitteth in thy house, and when thy walketh by the way, and when thy lieth down, and when thy risest up. So it's talking about the what you should teach them is the laws. Say when they wake up, when they rise up, when you walk about, when you just dealing in your daily life, it should be these laws. The laws of God tell you a man how to treat a, a woman, a man how to treat a man, a woman how to treat a man, a woman how to treat a woman. That's all, that's called the moral and civil law in the Bible, right? You have five laws, five categories. You have the sacrificial law, the ceremonial law, the dietary law, the civil law, and the moral law. The big issue in our community is that civil law and that moral law. Moral tells you what's right and what's wrong. Is it wrong for me to beat my wife? I'm married. Is that wrong for me to beat my wife? Yeah. Is that wrong for me to beat my wife? What else? You don't think it's right? Right? It's wrong. No. So that is a moral, right? What's right? What's wrong? Is it wrong for me to sell drugs? No. Is it wrong for me to sell drugs, Lance? Yeah, it's wrong because now what my actions are affecting somebody else, daughter, son, detrimental. My community, most importantly, is being affected by these drugs. There you go. That's somebody daughter. That's somebody baby girl. That's somebody baby boy. Right? So that's what you teach them diligently. What about uh, if I got married? I'm married to my wife and my son see that. What's that going to do? That's, gonna put in that's, that's what you do. When I grow up, I got a married that woman, and I saw my dad, my mom, through thick and thin, boom, they stayed together. They she submitted, she da da da. There you go, whether that's good or bad. Good or bad. So yeah. for you, for your daughter, what must you and Lance do? We have to lead the right way. We have to. What does that look like on what we just touched on? Marriage. There you go. Not, you know. Marriage. Um, so yeah. first and foremost, marriage. Get married, right? Then you need, what you need to do is repent. And learn, you learn who you are. Repent from your old way of life. So we told you pants. Guess what you need to do? How many dresses you got at the house? You got multiple dresses or you got none? I, brought, I just brought one. One, two dresses, right? But you might got a little collection of pants because that's what you rock with. Yeah. So what you got to do, D, oh, is, short. yeah, don't don't be wearing short. Only Lance, when he becomes your husband, is supposed to see what you're working with. But right now, if you used to turn around, I can see your butt, your hips, your thighs, all of that. But that's only for Lance. So you see any of these brothers' wives, you're going to see them in a modest dress. But well, what if I go to work? I can't that's, wear a skirt. You can talk to him. Talk to him and wear a modest skirt. Right? You can do that. You've never done it before, so you don't know it. You don't think it's possible. Like, nah, this is what I rock. This is all other women rock. This. You go to a, yeah, you know, for religious reasons, I don't wear pants. Right. What? What? You, you just wearing pants like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's done with them. That's that's changed. I'm going to look professional. I'm going to look all black. I'm going to look nice. You're going to look delicate and tender. You'll be treated differently because now you look feminine. Right now, you have a masculine look about you because what? You're dressing you in masculine you know, clothes. Gives a feminine part, so you have traits, but you have pants on, right? You got pants on. You got your tennis shoes. There's no wrong with tennis shoes, but the main thing is your pants, your work shoes. That's the main thing. So, what you got? There you go. Yeah, get that one. This is the book of Acts, chapter three, verse nineteen. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come. From the presence of the Lord. So Christ is coming back. No mistake. That's the reason why we out here. To warn and save our people. Christ coming back. He's going to kill you. Give me Zephaniah 1 and 8. He's going to kill you for not dressing a certain way. We already read Hebrews 13 and 4. He said he will judge you if you're having sex outside of marriage. So when you do get married, guess what? Lance, you can't cheat on D. D, you can't cheat on Lance. Ain't no stepping out. What are you in it for life? That's what marriage is. Right? So we got the judgment. What God and Christ, what they will do to you. Right? Guys, if not one and eight, it's gonna judge you according to your apparel. That's what we're gonna touch on. So we gave you Deuteronomy 22 and 5, right? Then we gave you Deuteronomy 28 and 56, 57 to show the delicateness, the tenderness of a woman 
is on your wedding day, you ain't rocking that. You ain't gonna be rocking no Tim's. You trying to, I want to be dialed up, I want that dress, I want to pull, you know, mm, got the wind, set the fan right down with the wind blowing. That's what you want, right? That's called delicateness and tenderness. You want to be perceived to be beautiful, a princess. That's how you should look every day, though. All right, read this. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter one, verse eight. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, when he come back and kill two thirds of his own people. When you, I'm talking about these people right here on this side. I ain't talking about no white people, no Chinese people, no East Indian so-called people. No, his own people. Read that again. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. He said all such that are clothed with strange apparel. What's strange to the Lord? What? Well, I'm rocking some pants. I got my car on. Lance got his, you know, some jeans on. What's strange apparel to the Lord, Lance? Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Got you. We read it, but I'm, I'm going to try to make that connection, right? Read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. They're what? An abomination unto the Lord thy God. What's an abomination, D? Lance? from me so so that's what the lord talked about pay attention that's what he talked about with strange apparel that's strange apparel when god see you on this you're like that's not what i made her for i made her in a dress because she's a princess that's what israelite means princes are the power with god so that's for the men then the women be what if the men are princes what are the women masculine trying to be a man there you go lance Princess. So if Lance a prince, what that make you a princess? Why? Because our father is king. He the one that made this whole world for our sakes, for our inheritance. So what must you do, D? What is that strange apparel? So I know you track. What strange apparel? That he said he gonna kill you on that day if I find you a strange apparel. What's that? Jeans. Jeans. The boots, shoes, combat boots, you know, nothing that looks good. Man attire. Yeah. Man attire. There you go. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.